Inspiration 2017. And I'm just so excited because of all the fantastic artwork, all the students being excited about sharing all of their work. We have musicians here, we have artists here, we have our teachers and our staff and the parents. The parents are here supporting our kids and we're in a world-class museum. How, how good does that get, right? So I'm really excited, having a blast, and I'm just so proud of all our kids. Well, it's very important because it provides our students a, a skill that they would use, you know, lifelong learning, which is their critical thinking. I believe, you know, us investing in the arts is something also that we were just talking about, that it's a way to attract kids to stay within our schools. And I know uh, visual and forming arts is one of the, uh, the, the components that is keeping a lot of our students focused and also has given them an opportunity to expand their knowledge on different things that before we weren't able to provide for them. But now I'm very happy that we're continuing the trend and hopefully we'll get more. The arts are critical and so as a board member I support it 100% and I, I'd love to have more funding available to, to give it, to, to expand it and to have it at all of our schools but at a greater level. So today's just another example of the great things that we're doing here at Santa Ana Unified but I wholeheartedly support the arts for our students. Well, the, the inspiration for our inspiration is it's a celebration of our young artists in our schools, in the elementary, intermediate, and high school levels. Today is a special day because our young artists who have prepared the art that is on display in this beautiful Bowers Museum um, get to show it off and have their parents come and see, and it may be their parents have only driven by the museum, never dreaming they would come inside and see their own sons and daughters artwork on display in this world-class museum. Uh, we'll see some great artwork today and hear some good stories, some good entertainment, and it's going to be a plus all the way around. But really just a charge for the kids to come here and see their artwork on display here in this, in this great museum. And we're very proud of the partnership with Bowers Museum to make this happen too. The thing I love about having this here is it, it sets Bowers as a part of the community and it's something that we don't all often see. And what, what we reflect is the stories of humans throughout culture and throughout history. And our hope is to um, bring better understanding to a cross-cultural um, world that we live in. And here we are in Santa Ana, and I feel like the people that live here have real connection to the pieces here, and we, we want to reach out, bring, bring our, our community here, and bring ourselves out into the community. My name's Naomi Kadanoff, and I'm art teacher at VIA Fundamental Intermediate. And this is one of my students' pieces. This is Vanessa Cardenas' self-portrait, and she used elements of photography, drawing, um, collage bits in here okay. and it's kind of sad she has her whole face covered maybe right. feeling of disempowerment that okay. a lot of our kids are feeling right now um, this is Bolivar Catalan and his self-portrait he liked the idea of having a great big beard okay. and envisioning himself in this like a, kind a of different person. persona yeah. and Juan Gomez and he liked these kind of flames coming up around his face. And then Myra Gomez, she pictured herself in a very fragmented manner and she wanted to have things that she discarded throughout the day and incorporate them into her imagery. So there's a lot of uh, high order thinking that happens yes. in visual art, problem solving. Um, it's storytelling. There's storytelling and Kids are thinking, judging, always thinking at that higher level with art. My project, I had to pick what I found the, to be like the most unique thing about Santa Ana. And I chose the Yos because like, it's like you can't go to Santa Ana and not see the Yos. How does it feel that your piece of art, not only is the best in show for the whole show, you see, but you're at the, the Bowers Museum, a world class museum, how does that make you feel? It feels great. <laughs> I didn't think I would make it. And how does it feel, not only that you won first place, but that your piece of art is displayed in this wonderful museum? How does it make you feel? I'm very happy, and um, I really like. I don't. I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. But yeah, it just awesome. makes me feel amazing because I know that there's some other people that have a lot more talent, yeah. and I know I did amazing. And. That's what makes me really happy. 
basically am primarily involved with the scholarship portion. And what we do is we look at all the resources that we have and we call out for students to apply for scholarships each year. And the scholarship program has grown so that now we actually have five different types of scholarships that we give out. And for this program in particular, for Artspiration, what I love about it is that the children can be creative mm -hmm. and their parents can be proud mm -hmm. and their teachers that instruct them are amazing and the community can come and just benefit from the beauty of the art that is here and more importantly we can even pay a very small price to be able to purchase some of these postcards and uh, posters. So I love this event. It's really, really fun. It's one of a kind. And thank you to everyone for being here and for everybody that supports it.